Hi everyone, it's Rachel back with the Shades of Orange and today I want to bring you a recommendation video of science fiction books that involve artificial intelligence. If you've been following my channel for a while, you're probably aware that I really enjoy this subgenre or trope or topic, whatever you want to call it. And if you are like me and are always looking for more books on the subject, I definitely think I have some good recommendations here. Some of these books are perfect for beginners and some are better if you are a little bit more experienced in the genre. So I think I have just about something for everyone and hopefully something new to add to your TBR. All that being said, let's get into the books. First, let's get the obvious one out of the way. And so I want to recommend I, Robot by Isaac Asimov, which is a classic science fiction novel that has nothing to do with the Will Smith movie. This is a collection of interconnected short stories that tell a possible future where there is a rise in artificial intelligence, they are developed, and you get to see how it affects society. The reason I want to recommend this book, of course, is that it describes and establishes the three laws of robotics that are referenced in basically every movie, TV show, and book, including several that I'm going to be talking about in this video here. And so I really do think it's worth going back to the beginning. I'm actually not someone who believes that you need to start with science fiction classics. You can actually start with some of the other books on this list, but I do think that if you're interested in the topic of AI, it's definitely worth going back and kind of seeing one of the foundational stories. And it was very straightforward, very easy to read. It is a more modern classic and I did think it was really fascinating to see the three laws of robotics which make a lot of sense and my understanding is that even in our real world scientists that are working in that field actually do follow those rules and really keep them in mind when we are working on our current technology today and so I just think it's very topical and just like I said a really good place to kind of get your footing in this subject matter. Next I want to recommend Sea of Rest by C. Robert Cargill and this is set in a dystopian future after the rise of robotics and it takes place in a time where there has been a war between the robots and the humans and humanity has basically lost. The story is told over two timelines in our future present day. We follow a robot that is going through what is called the Sea of Rust and it's basically a place filled with abandoned robots that have broken down and they are scavenging for parts because they are also breaking down themselves. And so the story set in this future kind of feels like a science fiction western story. There are a lot of shootouts and a lot of unsavory characters. You really don't know who to trust. There is a lot of action. And if that sounds like a lot of fun, I do recommend this story. What I personally love most about it though is that the second timeline actually goes into the past or what would be our future and tells about the uprising of robotics and basically how artificial intelligence developed in this future and basically how it came to be that there was a war between humanity and the robots. And this is a book I recommend reading after iRobot because it does make a lot of references to those rules robotics and it definitely follows some similar tropes and narratives so I definitely think it's worth kind of knowing where the author got their inspiration from but all that being said it's definitely its own story and I also think it's a really good story that gives some warnings against the potential dangers of giving artificial intelligence human rights so very topical very interesting and has a good blending of action and some intellectual content. Next, if you're open to reading a graphic novel, I highly recommend Alex and Ada by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughn. This is set in a near future and follows a young man whose grandmother gifts him a companion robot. She has one herself and absolutely loves it and so because her grandson is single, she decides to help him out. He at first is very reluctant, he's not really interested in these companions, but he does decide to take her on and of course he begins to develop feelings for her a good portion of this book is really getting to see how they interact with each other, how the companions work, because of course they are meant to please the person that they are the companion to, but at the same time they want to be as realistic as possible so that they give that person a really authentic experience. And so if that sounds like the kind of thing that you would enjoy, I definitely recommend this one. This one is set in what feels like a very near future and outside of the artificial intelligence there is very little other references to science or technology. So this is actually one I would recommend to beginners of science fiction. If you're new to the genre and again are willing to kind of go into it via a graphic novel, I think this is a perfect entry point. 
I felt like it was a contemporary story that just happened to have science fiction elements in it. And the story itself is very compelling. There is a little bit of a thriller aspect to it because as you often get with these stories, there is more going on than it seems. And soon enough, you get on an exciting action track where you have the characters running for their lives and it is a complete trilogy which is really satisfying so it's not overly long but you do get a complete story over three volumes so definitely one I recommend it's definitely one I want to reread. Now I also want to recommend another graphic novel series and that is Descender by Jeff Lemire and this follows a companion robot it's set in a future where at the beginning of the story there is an attack on humanity, there are robots that arrive from outer space and cause catastrophic damage to our planet. After this, humans are no longer in favor of their robotic companions, and so there is a hunt to shut them all down. This story, as I mentioned, is told from the perspective of a young companion robot who is intended to be the companion for another young child. And so when he wakes up in this hostile environment, he tries to go and find out what happens to the young boy that he was taking care of. And of course, he finds himself fighting for his life, running to survive. He does meet up with people that actually still value these robots and they move on together. It's a bit of a space opera. It's very action packed and it is a completed series in six volumes. One of my personal favorites and definitely one I'd recommend. The artwork is done in a watercolor style and it's absolutely beautiful and I really do think it plays a lot with the idea of a future, like I said, that no longer idolizes the idea of artificial intelligence but actually is very strongly against it and you get to see the perspective of those robots and it's just a very thoughtful story very exciting and just one that I absolutely love and always recommend next I want to talk about the machine dynasty trilogy by Madeline Ashby the first book being VN the second book being ID and the third book being Rev this is a series that is set in a near future where humans have developed robots that they call VN this is a really different take on artificial intelligence because these are more organic style of AI where they're actually able to reproduce or iterate as it's described in the book. And there's definitely a lot of complexity to these artificial intelligence. In this world, people who are human or organic are able to have families and have lives with these artificial creatures. And this story specifically starts out by following a young artificial VN named Amy, who is living with her parents, one being a human and one being a VN as well and in order to protect her mother she ends up actually eating her grandmother and that is the part of the book where I describe that these books get very kooky it's not kind of your standard artificial intelligence story but it really goes to some weird places and at times it can be hard to wrap your mind around what is happening because in order to reiterate or reproduce these creatures basically have to eat a lot of matter and so by eating their grandmother they actually become a lot older and so this first book is a bit of a coming of age story and the later books really get into the larger world getting to see how humanity has adapted to having these VN in their society and of course one of the major aspects of this book is the fact that all of these VN are supposed to have what's called a failsafe which again goes back to the laws of robotics because in order to protect humans they have these safeguards in place so that if they ever cause harm to humans or even allow a human to be harmed in their presence they will be shut down and will basically have their whole memory and identity wiped and at the beginning of the story Amy has a situation like that take place and her failsafe doesn't actually work and so the whole book basically involves around this concept of identity autonomy and what it really means to be a free person and it's just such an important story. I definitely think that the author is very intellectual and in bringing up a lot of really important ideas. But at the same time, these books are so fun. They're so action packed. You will fly through them because things are just constantly happening and I definitely recommend them. I probably wouldn't recommend starting with this series because as you can probably guess from that synopsis, it's fairly complicated. But if you're used to reading science fiction, I definitely think this is another one to pick up for a really good artificial intelligence story. I also want to talk about Ancillary Justice by Anne Lucky, which is the 
first book in the Imperial Radage trilogy, which is a space opera that is set in a far-flung future where there is an empire that takes over, conquers other societies. When they go and annex populations, they take the dead corpses of the people they have conquered and basically turn them into artificial intelligences that they call ancillaries. They have artificial intelligence built into the ships that do the conquering and these ships have control over these ancillary bodies and allow them to walk around the planet and actually have their control be flexed on the ground level while they are still of course up in the ship. And this is another case of an artificial intelligence story that is really unique because it's an idea of an artificial intelligence that exists in multiple bodies, which of course means that that artificial intelligence can be in multiple places at the same time. This story is actually told from the perspective of a former ancillary that gets disconnected and is now on a revenge plot. But a large part of the story is reflecting back into their past. And so in those chapters, you get to see what their experience is like, remembering being in multiple places at the same time, having that life lack of autonomy, where they are somewhat being controlled by their programming, but they are still an individual body. And so I think this book plays really heavily into some really complex ideas and it was just fascinating to read. I definitely recommend it. Again, not one I would start with if you're brand new to science fiction, but definitely one to work up to because I think it's a really smart take on a concept that I really love reading about, as you know. And last but not least, I also want to recommend Robopocalypse by Daniel H. Wilson. And this is a story that is told through oral history and tells the story of a robot uprising and is told after the fact from multiple perspectives. And you get to see how these different groups reacted to the robots uprising and how they survived. This is a book that I always describe as the science fiction version of World War Z by Max Brook. If you're familiar with that one, which of course is all about zombies, this one of course is all about robots. And so if you were a fan of that story, storytelling style where you get different oral narratives. Each chapter is basically like a short story because they're all interconnected by a larger world event, but each perspective is unique and told from a different area of the world. And so I think that this one is really interesting if you want that larger scale view. You get to see a lot of different nationalities and how they react because David H. Wilson is of course Native American himself. So I do like that he brought that Native American perspective as one of the character viewpoints points. And if you just enjoy that kind of storytelling, I definitely recommend checking this one out for yourself. So that is it for this video. As always, let me know of the books I mentioned here, which ones are you most interested in picking up? And if you enjoyed this, let me know with a thumbs up and a comment because I can definitely do another round of recommendations on the topic. I'm constantly reading books about artificial intelligence and I would love to come back with even more recommendations for all of you. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. I do read a lot of science fiction as well as horror, thrillers, and fantasy. Thank you as always for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.